future. So what, what kind of were some of the takeaways that you feel helped you get to this, this moment? Um, just whipping these guys in shape. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> True. Um, I mean, the, the biggest thing for me was just taking, you know, taking their script and trying to do it justice and breaking it down and figuring out how we're actually going to make this movie. So it was a lot of conversations, a lot of you know, the, the first draft of the script was actually in a Word document, it was a PDF, so it wasn't in final draft, so I had the lovely task of taking that and trying to figure out like what we're actually shooting, what's live action, what is it an asset, a Facebook picture that we're creating, or is it something that we're sourcing? Um, and then I, I told them that I needed them to write another draft of the script and made them take that Word document and turn it into an actual final draft script, which was a very fun task for them, I She imagine. made us write the script twice. <laughs> <laughs> um, but that was all, you know, that was all for the sake of trying to, trying to translate this, you know, this story that was in, a, in very much a new, new language, I think, than anybody has ever tried to tackle and bring to screen, and figure out how we could make it easy for everyone as a team, every department head, um, you know, everybody that stepped onto set, be able to glean everything they need to glean from it and, and bring it to life. And do you guys want to talk a little bit about some of the technical hurdles? I know there were many. So, yeah, yeah. so, so many. Uh, any any yeah. highlights? So basically making this movie, the best way that I can put it, is like we is like making an animated movie, then shooting a live action movie, then putting the live action movie inside of the animated movie, and then continuing continuing to refine the animated movie for another year. Um, technically, no consumer grade uh, computer could handle the workload that we were putting on it. Our computers were dying roughly like six times every single day. Uh, and it, to reboot, it would take about 20 roughly. minutes and we'd lose progress every single time. Um, yeah. To see a single edit change, to see the extension of a shot, would take sometimes four to 10 minutes because there's so many layers that are happening. It's not just one video layer that you just be like, extend shot. We, the, the editors would be like, okay, you want to see this extension of the shot? Come back in five minutes, come back in six minutes. So we'd have to wait and have like insane amount of downtime and then come back, look at this thing and be like, we don't like it, go back to the original, let's try something else. And our days would constantly be like experimenting and like moving the ball forward just inches every day. It was just, it was never in feet, it was just in inches. It, it, was, a, it was a test of patience, I think, because I mean, yeah. normally- We all, to, we all went crazy. Yeah, we, yeah, we all went a little crazy. And it, it was like, just hats off to these guys for being able to con continuously be able to see the big picture, be able to see the macro story and not lose sight of it, which is really easy when it takes, you know, 10 minutes to just make a simple edit. It's, pro um, it's funny, like it's probably one of the more digitally advanced movies, which I feel like I could say, but it really was like we were editing it back in 1955 on like a film editor. Like we didn't have the luxury of just trying different things and seeing how it worked. That, that would take days. So yeah. <laughs> Can you talk about um, imbuing it with a personal and emotional story, since so much of it, the process was technical, mm -hmm. and uh, what your thinking was going into making a feature film that takes place on screens? Uh, sure. Um, I mean, it was always important. Like, I think every story that Seb and I write together, because a lot of this is based on the script um, before we even got to production, uh, it's, it's important that we always make that whatever we write together is thrilling and bold and hopefully original, but also most importantly, like extremely emotional. We were always very attracted to those kinds of stories, back to like seeds to, to this. Um, so it's very important that whatever, just in, 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 in the script space, to make sure that even when you were reading the script, you were being able to track the emotional story. And like that, it, like it, we could, we never moved past any stage, never moved past the script stage until that was like an absolute check from everyone who read the film. And I mean, the, the very first draft of the script, I mean, the, it just, it packed an emotional punch right away. That, that was always there. Like, I, I don't think there's a movie without that. And I think these guys knew that right away. Yeah, and I, I think that really helped the movie transcend what could have been just like, you know, style, stylish. Um, so what what are you guys looking for in the current entertainment world? Obviously, you're interested in you know bold new ideas. So what do you want to see more of? What are you not seeing enough of? Well, Anish is really looking to direct more computer screen movies. So if you guys have ideas, send it to him. His email is Anish. No. <laughs> totally. Okay. I think I think as a team, we feel very happy with the work we did and our team and our cast did on Search. Um, 
we couldn't be prouder of the film, but we are ready to move on to having a movie that has coverage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two Re cameras. That uh, we can cut in like a couple yeah. months and not a year. <laughs> and not two years, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah I, think, I think, you know, we, you know we've, been, we've been, you know, we've had such a long time in post-production on this film that we've already kind of put together a lot of our upcoming projects. We have TV shows, movies, big, small. And we're just kind of excited to just see, you know, the response to Surge and, and kind of take it from there and hopefully kind of take the same team forward and, uh, and do the same thing all over again. Definitely. Awesome. And I'm sure that stuff is all under wraps. You can't share anything about your new stuff you're excited for? Uh, what I can share is the thing that we're most excited about right now is a thriller and it decidedly does not involve much technology. <laughs> cool. It's also about a family, but it's a different spin yes. on a family. Yes, it's a very, very different take on a parent-kid relationship. So, cool.